So it says they vary inversely, right? So if it's varying inversely, we need to know this formula. It's not going to be provided to you. So you guys need to know this is inverse, that's direct, all right? So they're saying we have an inverse relationship. So y equals k over x. So you just write it down. That would be the first thing I'd write down if I had a problem like this and I saw it and I read it. That's the first thing I would do. Next thing, and then it says, oh, x equals 4, y equals 12. Write an equation to model the inverse. Now remember, what is k? We didn't, they didn't give us k. Remember, k is our constant, right? So that's k. Remember, think of like k and your constants of direct variation. That's like your slope, right? But it's your constant of change, correct? So for an inverse variation, k is a number as well. So if they're giving us x and y, can we solve for k? Sure, absolutely we can. So we plug in 12 equals k over 4. Now we want to find our value k. So I multiply by 4 on both sides. And I get 48 equals k. But the question wasn't asking what is the constant k. The question is asking write an equation to model it. So again, here is our equation that models. And now we know what our constant k is, which is 48. So we want to model inverse variation for any x and y. So my final equation is going to look like that. Done. Cool? Amazing.